Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we're going to look at how we can, you know, basically generate some insights from a given video file using a multimodal model named QN2VL. Okay, so basically it's a, it's an huge case where you have a media file, in that case might be a video file, or of course we have already, uh, you know, created some videos using uh, QN2 VL for image or images. Now in this video, I'm going to focus on a YouTube video. And if you want to ask a question or summarize the video or generate some kind of insights or build a chatbot or so on and so forth, how can we do that? So if you look at here, what I'm doing, I am installing QN VL utilities, utils, YT DLP, a YouTube library in Python, flash attention for just for, you know, accelerating the compute. And then no, and of course, when you are installing flash attention, better to uh, use no build isolation on Colab to avoid errors. And then you have accelerate. Uh, so I already installed that. And I'm using A100 GPU. If you don't have A100, you can also use L4, you know, as like minimum. Uh, but it will not work on T4 for sure. So make sure that you have enough GPU to do the inference. Now, here I'm going to replace this video. I was trying with some other videos. Now, I'm using this video of, it says, behind the scenes, see how Elon Musk celebrated the Falcon Heavy launch. It's it's a six years old video where the first time when uh, SpaceX launched Falcon in, in in somewhere in Florida Space Center. So, you know, Elon was very excited. So I'm going to use that video here and let's see what happens. So if you see, it says downloading web page, downloading iOS, blah, blah, blah. It downloads the best format uh, and you, know, you can see it has downloaded the video. Okay, so it basically keeps your video, you know, of course, you know, uh, it basically stores your video. If you look at it, it says destination data YouTube. Okay, so that's where the video gets, uh, you know, uh, saved okay now once you have that video let me just do this now now what we are doing is we are importing the libraries here so if you look at here we are importing qn2 vl4 conditional generation auto tokenizer and auto processor now this is important from qn vl utils we are you know importing process vision info so let's import that and then we are importing torch models this is the model we are using qn2 vl instructs i don't know why i've written twice but this is the model so if you click this here let me just copy and paste it here when you do that you can find it out this model so you're going to use this model here qn2 vl 7b instruct okay so that's a multimodal model that understands images as well and videos are nothing but the collection of frames right that's what it is so i'm using this model name over here and then I'm using the imported module, which is QN2 VL for conditional generation dot from pre-trained. Like if you have a huge auto model for causal LM, you know, in transformers library, the very similar, very, very similar stuff, but we are using the pre-built thing by QN2 VL. Now I'm passing the model name that, that we have over here. Uh, data structure or data type of the tensors, you know, that, that will be handled by Torch library, which is going to be BF16. Make sure that you are using the compatible GPU kernels, you know, for this. So, for example, I'm on A100 and BF16 is supported on A100. So, if you're not using a, a GPU which supports BF16, then you do not, you cannot use that. Then you just have to use F16 in that case. And then I have a device map auto. Let the system decide if I have CUDA kernels running, then it will automatically map the devices on that, the tensors on that. And then I have attention implementation so i'm just doing flat and attention to for a faster compute or like a faster inference and then i have processor just process, passing the model name and the same auto processor that we use it in transformer and then i'm having a, a schema here for the inference you know so if you look at the messages role user content and this is where I, my video is stored so i just you have to pass the type video if you're working with the image you have to right image here and you can take a base 64 encoded image as well or from local upload or from a link as well and then i'm passing the maximum pixels you know like very this is very standard as well not of course a very high resolution you know but that's fine and frame per seconds and i'm saying summarize the video and then i'm creating i'm basically applying the chat template you know, for the prompt, like this, that messages that we have over here, 
and then I'm creating the IDs. Of course, we'll create the IDs here. And if you look at inputs, processor, text, images, image inputs, video, video inputs, padding true, and it will return the tensors. And then I'm transferring that to CUDA for GPU for faster inference. And then this generate the IDs. I have a max new tokens of 128. Let's increase that a bit and click, click 512. And then I have generated ID streamed and then decoding it batch decode and then printing it so let's run this and this is going to take a, a lot of time because it's going to get the model first so we're going to wait for it so let's wait for it and come back when this is done all right guys so if you see it see here on my screen you know it has downloaded all the model weights and also loaded the model now if you look at it, it says it looks like blah 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 that is fine you know and if you look at the summarization it just says the video shows a rocket launch at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, with a man speaking to the camera and people celebrating. So basically, let's summarize it. Now you can also ask a specific question. Okay, uh, from of course from here, we can do that as well. Let's try out try out some other, you know, probably some other video here, and also uh, probably, of course, not the same one. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe should we take. Uh, I don't know. So maybe let's take this one. Thank you. All right then. Okay, I just want to take any random video, or uh, probably something from football. Uh, good. I never know. Okay, I want to take a, a small video like that, really lengthy. Yeah, this penalty shootout. SEO account manager. The penalty shootout looks really good. Okay, so let's come here, and uh, now I'm gonna replace this. Okay, so let me just do that. So if you replace here, you can ask a specific question as well. You know, like if you are solving some use cases where you have to understand about something, you know, that depends on, that really depends on you, okay, what you really want to do in that case. Now, uh, the data, if you go to data, this is the video that it gets downloaded just for your information. If you are interested in, you know, you want to, you can download the video as well. Now, what I'm going to do is probably take this out here. And let's do that. And yeah, let's just copy. And we do not need to run that. We can just run this part here. Uh, this all looks good. Summarize the video. Maybe we can ask some specific question in this one. It says Argentina versus France. Let's ask and see how good it is to understand the nuances of uh, what part of the no, not what part what's happening in the video who wins the penalty shootout or something like that okay penalty shootout and let's run this now this is really specific. I'm not sure if it says if it's uh oh hello okay it's take the previous one so uh, the video didn't get updated or what let me okay this is surprising it says let me play this video so really like ah, okay no, this takes the same video, which is surprising. Ah, okay, that's fine. But why the hell it took the same? Did I didn't I change the? Let me just see. Yeah, I have changed it, and when I change it, it says has already been downloaded. Okay, so let's do one thing. Uh, maybe let's do not call it data. I'm gonna call it. Football. No, sorry, I clicked it by mistake. Not that. So, of course, we we can see now football MP4. Now here, that is fine. Now I'm gonna just write football because there was some problem with the directory. I don't know why it didn't get updated. But we'll figure it, figure it out in this case. 
Now it's pretty fast as well, guys. If you look at the video, it's like around eight to nine minutes, you know, of both the video that we have been trying. Now here I'm trying to ask a specific question. Now there can be multiple use cases that we can solve with these models, the multimodal models. It can be, you know, in healthcare, it can be sports, it can be, you know, advertisement, media. You can you can solve a bunch of use cases. If, if you look at here, it says the video shows a penalty shootout between Argentina and France, which is fantastic. That's what it is. And Argentina wins the shootout and celebrate with their fans. I love the answer. Now imagine you can build, you can generate, you can generate really great insights, you know, from lengthy videos using these open source models. You can self-host it. You do not even have to use Cloud or GPT-4 or Vision or something or GPT-4 O model to basically, you know, generate insights from the videos, right? Now. This is what I wanted to show you in this video, a short video on QN2 VL and how you can, you know, chat with your video or, you know, search in your video or generate or summarize your video. So basically deals with your video, right, in a, in a way. So uh, this code will be available, of course, on my GitHub repository. You can find this notebook, run it. If you have any questions, thoughts or feedbacks, do let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in near future. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.